Project Permit got started about 15 years ago when anglers and guides started reporting to us that there was a slow and steady decline in the permit fishery. As a doctor would look at this fishery and its symptoms, the symptoms of decline really seem to speak at something bad happening to them at their spawning aggregation sites. With that, we launched a uh, five-year tracking project where we tagged over 150 permits throughout the Keys and wanted to follow their day-to-day -day movements to kind of tra track their paths and see what kind of stresses they encounter along the way. Nice. Good work, bro. That's killer, dude. Nice size, nice, man. In the last 50 years, our, the human population has almost doubled. So we're having twice the amount of pressure on these fish. I think that today, with the way the fisheries go, all fisheries, tarpon or anything, bonefish, you can't do enough. Any, any little inroad you can make into fisheries conservation has to be a good thing, you know. That's a mature breeding fish that probably just came back from Western Dry Rocks this summer. You got to, you know, get inside their head a little bit and they're just flat out harder than anything else you can fish for. And I think, you know, the further you get along in this sport, eventually all roads lead to permit. You, you run out of challenges and it's 20 years into this game, I haven't run out of that challenge, so. Yeah! Oh my God, that is big, that is really big. Research is important for protecting permit and their habitats and any other species because with research, it can give us not only an answer to what is stressing our fisheries and a solution, but can also give us the most cost-effective solution to protect our resource with limited funds and availability. And if we follow science, generally there's a predictable outcome of an improved fishery.